What up, YouTube? This is Reese. This is Chris. This is Raphael. And this is review of Naruto chapter 594. Oh my god. What Naruto a chapter. was amazing. Pretty much. So much went on. Ah, Just... <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I think we should do, say, like, man. what was your favorite, like, each of us choose one particular point or several that we found, that we thought was really good in this chapter before we even get to the review. I think... My favorite part of this chapter was the fact that um, Naruto and Kurama actually swats, um, basically switched. Oh my god, that's I love it. That. I love it so much. It was amazing. Uh, they're in perfect unity. They're like. In perfect it's, unity? Yeah, yeah I mean, perfect it's, unity now. Yeah. No more fighting. They trust each other 100%. Yeah. yeah. I can't basically, wait to see this anime same. because it's gonna, Naruto's gonna obviously have a different voice when the fox takes over. So. That should be quite funny. Oh. What did you think of that, you know? Yeah, that's going to be quite good. And I actually want to see what the animation would look like with his... Because it was his eyes, isn't it? That yeah. took over. Oh, yeah, I can, I can imagine that now. Mm. Oh, man. So, yeah, man, this chapter... Ah, uh, Toby... I'm calling him Toby, man. I don't care what anyone wants to call him. He's Toby. <laughs> Toby. Toby is finally trying to revive the Juby. Mm. He's actually uh, Juby's actually coming along, man. The ghetto statue is about to break apart and release the Juby. But um, there's the thing with the bear in mind is that he's, it's going to be an incomplete Juby. He has the nine tails. Nine tails clearly states in the chapter that if it was the full ten tails to be revived, he doesn't stand the chance. But because it's going to be an incomplete version, they do somewhat. They have, you know, what I mean, they it's a possibility that they can actually beat it if they, you know, fight together. Because it's not going to be, you know, at full power. But um, yeah, the Nine Tails kind of like broke it down. Like Kakashi and Guy were wondering, okay, how is he able to revive the Ten Tails if he does not have the Eight Tails or Nine Tails um, um, tail beast? And then it gives us some flashbacks, man. Exactly. We've got the Eight Tails clone, which Sasuke acquired Ginkaku, when he tried to capture B back in the day. You know, Ginkaku, Kinkaku, who were eaten by the Nine Tails and they survived by eating the, the meat in the stomach, which then gave them <laughs> the power of Nine Tail Fox, which is absurd as that sounds, you know, that happened. And the meat um, in his stomach, you know. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. Whatever works, isn't it? Gold and silver basically have a piece <laughs> of his power, isn't it? <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's just the, the art was really good as well. And it was um, very, as, as always, Naruto's artwork is quite detailed, especially the backgrounds. You know, Kishimoto goes in with that. I think I've all, well, he definitely tops, you know, Kuba in terms of his background art. Anyway, that's, I haven't, that's never here or there. <laughs> um, Say that for another one, man. For one year, we can. We yeah. Can this for a while. <laughs> ah, yeah. Ah, we yeah. finally learned everything about the Juby. Yeah. I mean, do you know? Do you know what else um, actually surprised me? I, I, I'm not actually sure if you said this before, but he he seems very confident. Like, oh yeah, I don't actually need the full Juby. To use the to complete the moon's eye plan, he's basically yeah. Do you know what? This is enough. I'm going ahead with it now, and it's like wow, that like, he's basically saying I'm not pulling any punches now. I'm going in. So yeah, um, the only reason he's like that though is because Toby's obviously kind of like being pushed into a corner, isn't it? Yeah, it's, he obviously yeah. didn't want it to end to kind of like start like this. He was just like, no, I need to have all of the full power so I can do it. But yeah, you force my hand. It's that yeah, and the fact that. The moon's eyes plan doesn't really require him to actually kill them. Remember, it's just to cast an infinite genjutsu off the moon. Yeah, so, that's, that's in reality, true. he doesn't need to kill Naruto or Killer B. All he needs to do is activate the Jubi's power, then become his Jinchuriki, giving him the power to cast the infinite genjutsu. So, really, that's why he doesn't need his full power. He just needs to become, you know, the Jinchuriki for a brief period and then activate the jutsu, I guess. Because yeah, that, that was the plan, sense. wasn't it? Yeah. To become the Tentails Jinchuriki, then he would have yeah. enough power to cast the. Um, is Mangekio on the moon. <clears throat> Something yeah, about yeah. it tells me that it's not going to work properly, man. Obviously. Just for the sole fact that he's been so soul set, yeah, on getting all of their power from the beginning, yeah. Why is he now kind of like, oh, yeah, he doesn't need all their power, he just needs a bit? Mm. That's why I said I was kind of curious that he, before he was set on getting all nine of them, now he's basically said, yeah, okay, I'm going to do it now. So, yeah, I guess it's what you said, pressure, isn't it? It's he... pressure, and the fact that Madara has, the real Madara has been revived, so I'm guessing he's doing something that the real Madara doesn't want him to do. Because um, this could have been Madara's plan for him to be the one to cast it, whereas Toby said, you know, I'm probably better than you right now. 
it's my t- it's yeah. my time to lead. That I'm gonna be the one to do it. So maybe, because matter of it does know Toby exists. Because he, I think when he was revived, yes, he mentions him. So you know of this person, and uh, maybe he's because Naruto is pushing him into a corner, and then you know, matter is um, the real matter is revival. Toby's like, all right, I need, to, I need to do this really quickly before things get out of hand. That's why he seems to be in a rush. I'm thinking. Um, but uh, I don't um, know. Damn, it's all just speculation at the moment. Isn't it? Like, we yeah. won't ever know until it's pretty it's much in, until it actually happens. Like he said, we don't know if it's even going to work properly or not, or not at this point. It story wise, and it obviously you know thinking realistically, it's not going to work. Obviously, if it does work, then I don't know how they're going to stop it. But mm. I personally think Kishimo didn't really want to kill off Killer B or do. He couldn't probably. Th- he probably couldn't figure out a way to extract the Nine Tails from Naruto, give give him Madara the power to revive a fully a full Juby, because then that's it, game over. He would have won. Yeah. So this is the closest we'll ever get to see, to, closest we're ever gonna get to actually see in a Juby, I guess, in its full form, which I'm not really complaining about, because he's gonna we're gonna see the Juby at the end of the day, and we're gonna see them find a way to. Oh, man, that's it. what everyone wants to see. Yeah, everyone wants to see what it looks like. Exactly. You well, can't it and not show it. So. Yeah, and you know what? The Juby is ridiculously powerful. Like it swallows mountains, it spits lands, it carries mountains. Yeah, yeah, that that was actually another thing. So, is it some sort of god or something in that respect? That's that what it, they're saying. Yeah, that it could form lands and stuff. It, it's like it's saying it sculpts everything. Like, how powerful is this thing? And this is only a piece, basically, of what they're saying. Like, <laughs> you couldn't even imagine the full being near there. It'd just be end of narrow, wouldn't it? Like, yeah. <laughs> Literally, no one would stop it. At this point, no, no one would. Which, really, just, yeah. which goes to show just how powerful the Sage of Six Paths was. Yeah. yeah. Guys, on some next level. He is, man. And <laughs> yeah, we um basically get a little sneak attack from Naruto just that went you know QB mode tried to. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> and oh, tried yeah. to like the Dharma Rasengan that ever then Toby blocked it with his little. His pe- we and uh, th- what the hell is that thing, man? It's like a fan, yeah. What a gay weapon. Um, apparently it uses to increase his fire attacks, basically. I've read that somewhere. But did uh, you not see that bit in the um, manga reader translation where he said something to Kakashi like, you've never changed, you've always been this way? Yeah. yeah that, did I catch you off guard? Because I'm like, okay, hold on, who is this guy? Because you know Kakashi apparently for a while. That's what's confusing, man. That's gonna. Ah, uh, you know what? Don't tell me. Don't. That's, that's gonna. Just don't let that in the comments. Start bringing up the little things of like, oh yes, yeah, Obito. You see, I told you. <laughs> I was actually thinking people are gonna say that it's Obito, and I was just thinking that guy's dead. Nah. No, seriously, guys. What if Kishimoto reveals to be Obito? I'm gonna be angry, you know. Yeah, that will just be like no. It's kind of bad, isn't it? If he goes back there, innit? That should just be laid to rest, innit? Uh, rest now, come on, like, Obito died of honour, there's no point bringing him back again, and now Soiling his character. Just, yeah. Leave, leave. Yeah, man. I'm just looking at, I'm just looking at a part again, man. Because that guy, was it, guy says, just who are you? And he's like, you don't remember faces, so what's the point, what point is that in telling you? Mm. So you know guy as well? Ah. Yeah, it's, it's just like, uh, maybe, I don't know. So this guy is from Konoha, then? That, please don't let me be oh man that ah. I, don't, I, I, I don't know I really can't see that <laughs> happening that would just be really bad right in my opinion like okay. just kind of, as you said so these characters now maybe I don't know maybe it's not Obito maybe it's just a character that's been in the village and then I, I, I don't know what's going on obviously he knows Kakashi and Guy um, you know, and he knows everything so far because he was he was in the mist village for a while so he can't really be like uh, I honestly don't know who this guy is. <laughs> we just, I guess we just have to wait and see. Yeah, what's just hope happen. and pray that it's not. <laughs> oh, please, just sorry. hope and pray, <laughs> man. Because I've been, I've been, you know, preaching for ages that this guy is not Obito. There's no way he can be Obito. Obito is dead. And then <laughs> Kishimoto turns around and says, "Yup, it's Obito." I'll be like, "Oh shit!" How can a guy survive that, man? He got the whole of his body crushed. The whole side of his face got crushed. Pretty much, and he pulled his eye out as well. Yeah, so. exactly. Is yeah. That, oh. God, 
please just don't let it be don't let it be a VR. It probably it probably isn't. It's probably gonna be something really like um, someone we wouldn't expect. But Good. obviously not him. Because I think why people believe in that Obito thing is it's all the facts, you know, the eye that he has left is the eye that Obito had left, but that one that was crushed mm-hmm. on that side. That he, had, he had like an arm that could, basically, part, parts of his body is Zetsu, right? Yeah. And apparently that's the same side of his body that was crushed under the boulder, that's actually Zetsu parts. Oh man! So it's yeah. true. They, yeah, I know some of the facts are some of the there. The facts are just like right in your face. Just like you just you just don't want to believe it. <laughs> no, but then again, the personality is not right. He could have been, and people are saying he was revived some by someone evil. But you know what? I'm speculations. You know, speculations, speculations. Yeah. We'll we'll see when the story ends. We'll find out who this guy really is, and then we'll put to, be put to bed. You know. Yeah. Literally, yeah. So yeah. um. Any more points you guys want to make, or that's I think all the points, man. I think that's everything covered for this chapter. Yeah. Um, so what rating are you giving it, Raf? Um, trying to think. I'm gonna be outrageous. I'll say nine. A nine, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what? I'm agreeing with that, man. I'll give it a nine. Nine. Here we go, nine. I'm saying a nine is twelve, man, because this was a <laughs> chapter. <laughs> Why you, a unanimous decision for the first time ever. Wow. <laughs> no, no. Agreeing something. So, you know, this week's chapter of Naruto gets a nine. A solid nine. Story, action, they had everything. Yeah. That's what Naruto should be, man. Mm-hmm. A nice little build-up for what's to come, so... <laughs> Hopefully it don't die down soon. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I'm pretty much high for the next chapter, man. Can't wait. Bring on next week. Mm-hmm. So alright guys, again, don't forget to subscribe and comment on the video. We're always interested to see what you guys think of it. So um, yeah. See you guys next week. Yeah, see you next week. See you next week.